Belted forward by Richie English. Down the other end of Croke Park will suit. Limerick just fine. There's still plenty of time for Cork. Here's Pat Ryan. Ryan had a chance at normal time and Ryan has put it into the back of the net. They're on their way, surely. Twenty eighteen was the year and August was the month. There was a serious heat wave and all of us were burnt. With scarfs, hats, and headbands for Croker we began. Connor's tactics, checking phrase book for Sid Kit for the van. Some of the lads away from home never had they been. For the first time, Badger put his foot outside of Palace Green. We left for Croker hoping to meet up with our buddy Lean. He's been hiding from us now since 1973 I didn't know a John to Croker can be a costly trip At Barack Obama Plaza we needed a curry chip But our friend JP he gave a donation to the cause To fund the Mauron purchase and new jerseys from Shaw's In Offaly the motorway was like the dock road Stocked up from the milk market we had quite a load the M50 toll saw an old starlet from a tay With the engine overheating, carrying many flasks of tay There was fans from Ballyhall, Valley Martin and Valley Brown Heading for the Red Cow, outside of Dublin Town Round Robins and Hawkeye can fly us to the promised land As Jim Dowling said, we're not just here to march behind a band on the banks of the Royal Canal he met a Jackie's daughter The Pope himself would have blessed them if it had been a weekend later She showed him the sights of Dublin for a ticket for the hill And he told her she'd be welcome any time in Ballyhall As soon as we hit Drumcondra we parked the motor up We headed then for Quinn's, for Tato's and a sub some of the lads headed to Coppers, hoping for the shift. Loving the Dublin lassies, if you get me drift. Nolan tuned up the banjo, and Hayes pulled out the box. Limbrick, you're a lady, and Sean South, we did rock. Driving along the Liffey, Tim Lizzie, and you too. The walls of Limbrick was danced from shoe to shoe. But alas, our session ended, we'd finished all the stout. We missed the donkey fords after our night out As one by one we fell asleep, Connors had a dream Himself and Judd Kiley sat down to pick the team Connors dreamt they both agreed on Quaid straight away And that Hannon, Lynch and Barnes were certainly to play But tensions began to rise and shouts began to ring John wanted Gillan but Connors wanted Dowling Things were turning sour, their brains they had to rack. Planners wanted TJ Ryan and Kieran Carey back. The Treaty of Limerick resurrected from afar. And Planners woke up many miles from Arda and Neary's bar. Nan, Milan and Dykin didn't give us much of a chance. And Sir Farl had already started with the victory dance. With Canning in their corner, all way for victory sets. When Galan dropped his hurl and kicked the Schmitter to the net. What happened next is history brought tears to many eyes. That day will be the highlight of many people's lives. Connors climbed over the top with a quid flick and high kicks, singing revenge with John Kiley for 94 and 96. Now Badger's back in Palace Green, he's living with his man. There's a statue to John Kiley beside Terry Wogan. Do you remember the Jackie's daughter on the banks of the Royal Canal? Didn't you show up in Ballyhall last week? The great Limerick team are heroes to a man. King John's castle sees a victory after Kylie's master plan. The skill and the passion, the likes has to be seen. And all that's left for me to say is come on, you boys in green.